Uh, it's such a joy to be here in Houston, Texas, visiting the office of uh, Digital Bible Society, spending time with our good friend Ken Bitgood and his team here. We share a passion for the Word of God. Um, both Bible League Canada and Digital Bible Society believe that the world needs the living Word of God more than anything else. And I see that as I travel. I visit uh, places that are very remote. In fact, I just got back from the northern uh, provinces of Luzon Island in the Philippines, where our partner does values education in public schools, 1,100 public schools all over northern Luzon. Uh, I met incredibly committed volunteers who walk miles and drive on little motorcycles through roads that here in North America we can't even begin to imagine, uh, just to take the Word of God through values education to schools. I met one woman. Her name is Rose Marie. Uh, she is a church planter, uh, and, and she loves children. And so she has a little motorbike, just a little tiny motorbike, and she drives for a couple of hours from her house to the end of the road. Then she leaves her motorbike beside the road and she starts walking on a path. For seven hours she walks to this school where there's children are waiting to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. And we have the joy of recently bringing Bibles to her so that she can deliver them into the hands of these children who are longing for the Word of God. Their ministry has seen 12,000 children come to faith in Jesus Christ since June. Since June. And that's just a matter of seven months. 12,000 children. And the Rosemaries of the world walk through the jungle of the mountain provinces and they bring the living word of God to these children who are hungering for it. Churches have been planted by children who've come to Christ and have shared the good news with their parents. And then she sleeps overnight, Rosemary sleeps overnight in the school, and she walks seven hours back. She says during the rainy season, they have a problem with leeches. This is pretty bad. The green ones get you above the head, and the brown ones get into your legs, and they are horrible. I won't explain it all. It just was terrible. And she does this. She, she consistently does this walks seven hours back, gets on her motorcycle, drives home, and the next week she goes back again. The joy on the faces of the children as we were able to place these New Testaments, some in English, some in Ilocano, which was the, is the local language, they hunger for the Bible, they love the Bible. And now these children, children, elementary school, high school, hungering for the Bible. Uh, what a joy to be able to take the living Word of God and place it in the hands of children who are longing to read God's Word and to hear the stories of Jesus and to learn how He can change their lives. And He is. Parents are coming to Christ because they see the change that Jesus has made in the lives of their children. Their children are different now. They were disobedient. Now they're obedient. They were uncontrollable and now they're respectful and so the parents say this Jesus has changed my children he can change me and so they want a copy of God's Word because they know the power of it digital Bible Society provides a resource that is such a blessing to many pastors around the world uh, not long ago, I was in Latin America, and we were able to provide, DBS was able to provide, uh, in partnership and joint ministry with Bible League Canada, uh, hundreds of flash drives with dozens, hundreds of Spanish treasures, uh, Bibles, commentaries, worship songs videos that are usable by Spanish-speaking pastors throughout Latin America. These are church planters. These are men and women who God has called and our partners trained to plant churches. And they're planting them by the thousands every year. But they go into some pretty remote areas. And uh, so they asked if we could provide 
in partnership with Digital Bible Society, some of the Spanish resources on a flash drive, and we were able to. And what a joy to sit in a room of hundreds of these men and women who are passionate to see the Word of God placed in the lives of their people, uh, who in many cases are very, very poor and living in remote parts of, of uh, Latin America. And if they could get to a Christian bookstore, which most can't, uh, couldn't afford the, the Bible anyways. And so now these pastors have a resource, a jump drive, flash drive, that uh, gives them so much more than they, they could ever find. And they're, they're, they're growing and they're learning and they're sharing and they're teaching. And, and uh, they thank us so profusely from the heart for providing this digital resource that contains so much important things for the ministry that they are called to. And uh, they would not have it without that digital resource. The beauty is that they can make copies and, uh, and they can share it with their congregation. Um, it just brings such joy to be able to work in joint ministry with uh, Digital Bible Society and to be able to place in the hands of church leaders, pastors, church planters, a resource that they could never afford uh, that contains everything they need to help their people grow in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. So uh, it's a joy. And we at Bible League Canada are so grateful for Digital Bible Society and for the great joint ministry partnership that we share uh, in many countries around the world. And we look forward to seeing how the Lord's going to continue to develop this great joint ministry uh, as we serve the Lord together and place the living word of God in the hands of people who are hungry for it.